टेंशन फोर्स टेंशन फोर्स इक्वेशन टेंशन फोर्स फॉर्मूला एंड टेंशन फोर्स प्रॉब्लम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गिट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री फर्स्टली यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड द इजी कंसेप्ट ऑफ टेंशन लेट कंसिडर अवी मेटल बॉक्स and a string or cable is wrapped around this object you are trying to pull this heavy object in this direction by the help of this rope or cable now here are some interesting points which you must learn you are standing here while this heavy box is there it means there is enough distance between this heavy object and you the question is how can you pull this heavy box from a long distance or are you a magnet to attract this heavy metal box well your answer would be no i am not a magnet but i am pulling this heavy object by the help of this string or cable thus here we learn that you can pull objects from long distance by the help of string or rope without touching them now what magic is lightning and this rope well you are pulling the string in this direction you are not pulling the object when you pull the string you exert force on it in this direction the string translate or transmit your force to this heavy object as a result this heavy object is pulled in this direction to simplify it further let me teach you here we assume that the string is massless means the mass of the string is zero which is not true in real life but in front of this heavy metal box the mass of this string or cable is very small so we neglect it now for example you exert 100 newton force on this string in this direction string will translate this 100 newton force to this heavy object and it is pulled away now this 100 newton force and the string or rope that is translating is given a special name in physics known as a tension therefore whenever you read or listen tension always say that tension is the pulling force of a string or a cable remember that tension exists within a string or cable and it is applied by the string for example in this case tension exists within this rope and it is applied by this string on the heavy metal box also remember these two bonus points about tension firstly tension is a lifting force for example consider a mass m suspended by a string here the tension within the string is lifting this heavy object in upward direction secondly tension is a pulling force for example you pull this heavy metal box in this direction by the help of rope or tension exists within the string remember that tension cannot push objects or you can say that tension cannot act as a pushing force let me also derive the tension force equation let consider a mass m and you pull this mass in this direction by the help of a string the net force on this mass would no longer be zero and acceleration f will be produced in this direction note it down that acceleration a is produced in this mass m due to tension t1 in this string now let me draw a free hand diagram for it in this free hand diagram we can see that there are three forces acting on this mass the downward force is the gravity force r f g to balance or to cancel the effect of this downward force there is a vertical force or normal force fn 
acting on this mass in upward direction. For example, if the gravity force Fg is pushing this mass with 100 Newton force in downward direction, the normal force Fn is also pulling this mass with 100 Newton force in upward or in opposite direction. Hence, the net vertical force on this mass M is zero. Thus, there is only one force, a tension T1, acting on this mass M in this direction. Remember that we neglect the friction force of ground. Tension has no formula. We can derive the formula of tension from Newton's second law of motion, which is F is equal to m into a. It means a force f is not zero on mass m, acceleration a will be produced in an object. Here, tension t is a pulling force. It produces acceleration a in this mass m. Thus, we can write Newton's second law of motion in terms of tension as T1 is equal to m into a. This law means that if the net tension T1 is not zero, acceleration a will produce a mass m. Or uh, you can say that net tension T of the string or root always produces acceleration a in mass m attached to the string or cable. Now let me teach you tension force problems. For example, consider that you are pulling this mass M by the help of string in this direction. Your cousin is pulling the same mass M in opposite direction. Suddenly your brother comes and he starts pulling in this direction. As a result, acceleration A is produced in the mass M in this direction. Let the tension in your string is T1. The tension in your cousin's string is T2. And the tension in your brother's string is T3. The tension T3 makes angle theta with the horizontal tension T1. Now let me resolve tension T3 into its components. The Y component of tension T3 is zero or it doesn't produce any vertical motion or any vertical effect and mass m but the horizontal component t3 sub x is acting on the mass and it produces acceleration a and this mass m using trigonometric ratios we get t3 sub x is equal to t3 cos theta Tension T1 is acting on this mass M in this direction. The horizontal component of tension T3 sub X is also acting on this mass M in this direction. While tension T2 is acting in opposite direction. The net force on this mass M is equal to plus T1 plus T3 sub X minus T2. T1 and T3 sub X are in same direction. So I put plus sign with them. T2 is an opposite direction. So I put negative sign with it. Now according to Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to MA. Put this net force in this equation. I get T1 plus T3 sub X minus T2 is equal to M into A. Now rearranging this equation, you can find the tension T1, tension T2, tension T3 sub X are acceleration A of mass M. For example, I am interested to calculate the tension of T1. So I will rearrange this equation and I will get T1 is equal to m into a plus T2 minus T3 sub x. Thus, by the help of this equation, we can find individual tension on this mass or on this object. I hope that you have learned 
the concept of tension tension force equation thank you very much for watching this video